Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. It's a premiere of sorts. Um, three new islanders we're going to show you today, or I'm going to show you today. Um, but this is the, these are the first islanders that I actually didn't directly design. Um, so uh, if you email us, do other, you know, interact with us um, through the store, uh, you'll know that uh, sometime late last year, um, a new guy started answering some of the emails, Ryan. Uh, I brought Ryan on to be my right hand um, as the business, you know, kind of keeps growing. Uh, and several months ago, I gave him free reign to design um, a couple of styles of watches. And today, we're going to uh, we're gonna check them out. Um, so I approved them all, and I obviously financed the whole thing, but I did not do all the detailed design work. He did. Uh, so I think they're really, really awesome. I think you're going to love them. So we'll check them out. And if you love them, thank me. If you hate them, tell him. Like typical managerial style. So I am doing the Squally 1521 Blue. It is time for me to replace this insert because I dropped it and smashed the insert at the 50, as you can see. So it's time for me to put a new insert in this one. And, I don't know, it's kind of reaching deep into the watch chest and uh, woo, pulled out a spinnaker. Uh, this was a model from a couple of years ago. Cool looking watch, dig it. Uh, let's see these three really cool Islanders. So it is going to be waffle dial day. I got three hot new Islander waffle dials. A lot of firsts happening here as well. Black dial, blue dial, white dial. They're all really cool. Um, I'll do the sizing and stuff on the black dial and we'll get into the other two. Um, She's running. Yep, she's running. Okay, so this is ISL 88. The blue dial is 89, and the white dial or silverish dial is ISL 90. Let's get into some of the specs first. So it's running on an NH um, 36 movement with the day mechanics removed. So it's kind of like an NH 35, 40 joule, uh, 40 joules, 40 hours of power reserve, 24 joules, hand wind tacks. Unscrew the crown. You can wind it. Two clicks out. Change the time. One click out. Change the Date. There it goes. Put down, turn, 200 meters of water resistance. 42 millimeters in diameter, 14 thick to a flat, anti-reflective on the inside, sapphire crystal. 46 lug tip to lug tip and uh, e uh, lug holes for easy strap changes. 22 millimeter bracelet, solid end links, solid links sized with, where are they? Screws. Three position micro adjust scissor clasp uh, weighs 176 grams see through c3 super loom all over and they're all 299 so what is this about a couple of firsts or a bunch of firsts well it is an skx case you are correct if you're going to ask that or say that it is an skx case but it has a three o'clock crown no crown guards it does have an enlarged crown for easy grabbing um, so this will take your SKX parts, your bezels, your in, your bezels, your bezel inserts, your dials, your chapter rings, your hands, your bracelets. So I maintain all that back fit compatibility to the SKX 007 um, uh, ecosystem. I will be getting away from that in future releases. There are more designs coming out that have nothing to do with the SKX, but still, um, I thought this was a great. This is a great way for us to make a design. So it's a totally new design. Um, as far as the colors and everything else, um, but still if the customer wants they can still swap things if the, if they don't agree with some of the choices that we made You know like this kind of marine master coin edge bezel whatever Another first Gilt dial on this one and hand so we have gold tone hands and markers Really really nice um, uh, Of course, it's gonna loom up like crazy. So then we have some red accents, right? We've got a red triangle which doesn't glow, but the pip will, and the whole insert glows as well. We've got a red seconds hand to draw in that red. And then what do I see at the bottom? We spelled out Islander. Automatic 200. Automatic 200 is in gold as well. Islander is in red to complete the whole red package. Uh, the chapter ring has a little red adornment at the three, six, nine, and 12 positions. All looks really nice. Case back is still the original case back. Um, let's see. Hands are kind of a new designed hand. Nice long loom channels on them. 
They come all the way out to the edge for extreme readability and the hour hand just comes close to the hour markers. Date window at three, white background with a with black writing to kind of match the rest of the coloring of the dial in my opinion, it kind of just works. Um, a black background, white writing, blend in too much. Um, so this is ISL 88. Let's see, anything else I wanted to say about, but first of all, I gotta say, when I started getting the dial samples in and stuff, Ryan did a bang up job. I have to say it, uh, they look, I really think they look amazing. I think they're gonna be great sellers. It's something different, yet something familiar. Um, and it's more takes on the popular waffle dial. The Islander written out this is the first time it's being shown on a watch. Um, since this has happened, I've kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I've kind of finalized myself on a slightly different font. But you will see Islander spelled out on, on dials a little more in the future. Um, the font will be a bit different, but still, that's the way it's going to be. So let's look at the, that's the 88. Let's look at the 89. So then he also went with a dark blue waffle dial. And we felt that with blue, I guess he felt, I shouldn't say we. Again, I proved it, he did it. Uh, yellow accents were the order of the day. But then he also went with a light colored brushed aluminum chapter ring. And it kind of just, oh man, it, mm, it pulls the whole thing together. I love it, looks beautiful. So dark blue ceramic insert. Oh, these are 120 click unidirectional ratcheting bezels. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, so dark blue insert with a yellow triangle, loom pip, yellow second hand, yellow iron islander writing, brushed aluminum chapter ring with yellow accents at 12, 3, 6, and 9. Automatic, automatic 200 is spelled out in white, as is the lovely islander logo. So you're checking out ISL 89 now. So ready? So the black with the gilt. First gilt diver we've done. And now you've got the blue with yellow accents. And then the last one. I have them all sitting wound and with the crowns, I had them with the crowns out, so they'd be as close as possible to 1010 when I got to them. The ISL 90, the white, it's not centered, the white dial. Silverish kind of white, you know, silver and white on, on watches is, they're sometimes mentioned as the same thing, but not always. So this is, I'm calling it silver white. It's probably more white than silver. Um, I really, well, I mean, this background is pure white, right? My glove is white. Uh, so you can see the difference. It's, it's fairly, fairly white. In the off angle, it's a little bit silver. Um, so what we got here, I am going to back the time a bit because it's getting, tell I'm excited, right? I'm talking too fast. That's, that's New York for you. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay. So black hands, right? So first one, gold tone hands. Second one was silver hands. Black hands pops against the white background a must for me as you know on all my other light dial islanders like you got to use black hands it is why does why do other companies use silver hands on light backgrounds makes no sense no pop orange triangle on a steel insert mark why do you use steel or why did ryan use steel and not ceramic we felt it brought it just brought out the whole dial and it does and like i just did on the isl 67 uh, my other uh, ice blue waffle dial where I put the steel insert on, it, it makes a totally different watch. This looks amazing. Steel insert, but don't worry. This black writing you see, it's loomed. Ha, awesome. Black hands, black markers, orange seconds hand, orange islander. Uh, Silverish white chapter ring with orange accents in the same position. 299 as well. Ta da! Love them. Love them all. Love them to bits. They look great. Um, let's see. So let's do, we'll do Loom and then we'll do, we'll do a wrist shot of, uh, we'll just probably just do one of them and uh, we'll wrap it up. First guy up is that black dial with um, the black and the blue glow exactly the same. Everything looks great. Easy to read. Oh, nothing more really to say about it. Um, C3 Superloom is definitely the baseline. Uh, in ex in uh, Superluminova is the baseline for excellent loom. And then that white dial, which we did. Again, the steel insert is black loom. Black loom is not the greatest, but at least it does light up and you will see it. Um, still easy to read the ta the dial and the time. Um, the black loom will fade quickly because, as I said in a prior video, that, you know, Black doesn't really want to glow, and uh, the loom, the photoluminescence, gets gets um, covered up by the black pigment. But 
beautiful. So here is that ISL 90 on my six and three quarter inch wrist. Above, below, it doesn't matter. It's an SKX case, so we know how it's gonna fit, or going to fit. Lovely. Um, three o'clock crown, as opposed to the offset four, but the choice of crown, because it's kind of pancakey, doesn't really dig into your wrist much at all. So I was wearing that spinnaker on my wrist, and you can actually see a little indentation on my wrist from where the crown dug in. Um, and say, well, Mark, only wear one watch, not two. Well, that's, that kind of defeats the purpose. And that's going to do it. This has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you three new Waffle Dial Islanders. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so yet. Questions, comments, feedback, put it down below, and I'll be sure to address it as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.